Stock 2018 Mustang versus tune 1965 Mustang. We could definitely do that. We could definitely do that. Oh, that one's like brand new. Completely untouched. Completely untouched. All right. So now let's make sure it's completely untouched. Even though it says new, I've had some cars where they'll say they're new and then they won't be completely new, you know? And then, you know, it's like, and people are like, why did it run that fast? I'm like, I don't know. Um, 778, 778. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's good. So this, this will actually be really interesting because this one we're going to use a PI limit for. Um, on the other, uh, like, th we're going to have a PI limit for the other Mustang. So let's see what it sounds like and see what it goes like. It's quick. I mean, the, the stock 5.0s are getting so good now that, I mean, like, you take a factory Mustang and do a, like, aggressive alignment and some, you know, sticky, sticky tires, you can take it to a road course and actually set some pretty good lap times with it. I mean, these cars are actually really good sports cars now, and they're fast. It slides pretty well. Oh, that was iffy. Ah, come on. There we go. Yeah, if you get it in the right rhythm, it'll definitely do it. It will definitely slide the roundabout if you suggest nicely uh, that that's what you want it to do. You know what I mean? There we go, right at about 54, 55 miles an hour. It will absolutely do it. It'll absolutely go. Oh, God. Somebody said it sounds bad. I don't think it sounds bad. Um, yo, what up, timing light? Let's see. All right. Oh, God, these guys are going to outrun the crap out of me. Um, let's see what this thing will do through the, um, through the speed drop stock. What do you guys think, prediction-wise? Let's get these predictions in the chat. What do we think the stock 2018 Mustang GT is going to run? 138, 168, 180. Uh, these are a little high. 150. Um, let's see. 120. 138, 148, 145. Let's find out. That's a race that I'm not in. That spins through second. Spins through a lot of second, actually. Come on. Easy. Dude, it's fast for stock. Whoa. 162 miles an hour. I don't think anybody guessed 162. I don't ever think I saw 162 in the chat, but that is a fast car. For what it is, that's a really fast car. So let's go ahead and get the old Mustang now and see what it can do in response. Which, I'll just take this guy right here and reset him to stock. It, it, it'll, make, it'll make more sense in the long run. All right, let's go ahead and do upgrades and tuning. And we'll go ahead and get this guy completely reset down to C-Class. Now, I know this is obviously going to be a lot slower than the 2018 Mustang. Um, in stock form, but as far as tuned goes, I don't know because I think with given the room that we've got with PI like to add power I think it's gonna be a, a good race. I think it's gonna be close really close Let's See how she sounds Still spin second A lot of people are saying, like, around 100 miles an hour, give or take, like, high 90s, low 100s, and I feel like that's probably going to be pretty accurate. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, come on. It, the, the, the handling is a little boaty, a little floppy. Not as floppy as that Mercury, though. That was a whole new level of floppy handling. Let's see, 120, 112, 110, 115. What about the roundabout? Whoa! It'll keep it going in second for a little while, but then when you try to get it to do it in third, it's just so ridiculously slow and ridiculously open gift that it just spins the inside tire. It's a big one tire fire the whole time. So there's not really all that much you can do. Hey, I see that Mustang gift in the chat though. That's awesome. That's legit. All right, so let's see what this thing can do. From the factory, get those guesses out there. Three, two, one, go. A little bit of axle hop. Love the old Mustang. What the heck? He just spawned out of nowhere. Did you guys see that? It just looked like he did. That was so weird. Okay, so at least it wasn't just me. Well, I think it's going to outmatch a lot of y'all's expectations. Remember, we reset this guy to stock. 132. That's way faster than I thought it was going to be. 132 miles per hour. Jeez. 778, I was right. All right, straight to the power mods. Oof, hang on. Keeping the stock motor in this thing, so race carbs it is. Now, the stock motor is a little tricky to make power with. So, it's, uh, let's see, Beetle 649, I've been subscribed to you on YouTube for almost a year. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. Rob, thank you for the 20,000 sparks. And Night Killer, yes, I am playing on an Xbox One, more specifically a One X. So let's free up some power with those cams. Wow, 58 out of cams. That's pretty good. So we have a fully built motor, and we still haven't left C-Class. That's a little worrying. We're making 405 and 405. We weigh 2,500 pounds. Um, that does give us some room for other things, though. Let me throw race brakes on it, throw uh, race suspension on it, and race weight reduction on it. Can we throw boost at the stock motor? Yes, we can. We could throw twin turbos at this stock motor, uh, which I'm going to do. I never twin turbocharge these old engines. You know, like, and yes, uh, paper, uh, Project Scarlet. That thing is going to be ridiculous. Um, yo, True Titan, what is up, my dude? Thank you for coming back. All right, let's throw, oh, crap. Race turbos. Race intercooler, 572, 572. I mean, it's super balanced. Oh, wait, what the heck? We already did all that. We already did all that. Drivetrain. Let's see, clutch. Transmission. Wow, it's not even adding all that much PI. That's so weird. I think we're going to... Well, tires are going to are gonna be where it, it kicks it. Yeah, I thought so. But hey, if we do a sport tire, we can get away with it. <laughs> we, if we do a sport tire, we can get away with it. Oh, those actually work really well. The Rotoform MLWs, I actually really like that. I actually really like that. That works. That properly works. Okay, Um. let's see. 14, 15. I'm going to go to a 15 square. And then rear width. Max 295, rear uh, front width max 255. And now we are. Oh no, we can't do that. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Blows the tires off until about third, and the second you turn into any corner on throttle, but that's okay. Oh, this would make an awesome drift car. We don't even have angle mods. Oh my God, this would make an amazing drift car. 
This is gonna love the roundabout. It is gonna love the crap out of the roundabout. Yo, I see you out there, True Titan. Boom, back the other, whoa. Dude, even in fifth, you can just ride out the torque. It, it, it works. It works dang well. All right. Time to run this thing down the highway. What do we got for guesses, my dudes? What do we have for guesses? Because this is going to be a good run, I think. Yeah, this should be a really good run. Once, uh, 168, 185, 172, 178, 178, 174, 200, 178. Yo, we're over 7 mil sparks! What? Hello! I didn't even realize that. That's amazing! Thank you! Three, two, one, and go! These guys are gonna beat me. I mean, like, I'm just doing stock for two, and they're going for. Oh, spun a little bit. Got a little cheeky in, in third gear. 130, 140, 150, 160, 170. 172.8 miles per hour. I'm sure somebody guessed 172. It was Dark Sparrow 57. I saw your guess out there, bro. Yup, you got it. 